Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperwine. This week we're looking at machine tools and how they work. Machine tools make most of the things in our lives. They shape metal or plastic by drilling, cutting, bending, or grinding. In fact, our new machines were made by our old machines, which were made by even older machines. But if that's the case, how did they make the first machine? No, that's not right. No, still not right. Ah, there, that makes sense. For the most part, machine tools in use today serve the same functions as machines 100 years ago. The biggest development is that machines today are working faster and making fewer errors. That means greater productivity. Emco, for example, makes state-of-the-art multifunctional tools that combine lathes with milling machines. With several shaping functions, Emco's Hyperturn 665 is the company's most complex tool to date. To minimize errors, the Hyperturn 665 comes with a tool monitoring system that measures the load on the various axis drive motors. Excessive load means a tool is worn or broken, and low load indicates a tool is missing. The crash prevention system installed on the machine runs a virtual simulation of the steps that the Hyperturn will go through in the next production run. This simulation reduces the risk of machine parts colliding with each other, a problem experts call crashing, since the term, holy crap, did you see that, was taken. Imco's products, like the Hyperturn, are immensely complex, some made up of more than 10,000 parts. To ensure that the finished products won't have any parts colliding when they get to manufacturing, engineers at Imco use Creo's direct modeling tools from PTC. Grinding machines grind tools down to extremely precise measurements and smooth the surface to achieve a polished finish. Tools are typically placed in the grinding machine after they've been cut and shaped by a lathe. Jig grinders also do hard milling, grinding down metals that are too hard to be cut by a lathe. Kellenberger has recently introduced a new jig grinder, the Hauser 45. What makes this particular jig grinder special is a new wheel head. A wheel head is the part of the machine that rotates the grinding bit. Vibration in the grinding process can lead to a choppy finish or broken tools. This new wheel head is very rigid, so it really resists vibration. Engineers at Vistronic design machine tools that use water jet technology to cut and shape materials. A brace of water jet cutting uses a precise mixture of water and sand for optimal cutting power. The machines shoot an extremely high pressure stream of the water sand mixture to cut through virtually any material, from soft foam to hard metals. Water jet cutting doesn't run into problems commonly encountered by traditional cutting machines, such as thermal erosion of materials. And because the water mixture is kept cool, there is no risk of the machine overheating and ruining the products. The head of the cutting machine, the part that shoots water and sand, is equipped with a sensor to measure the distance between the head and the material. This distance is kept consistent throughout the cutting process to avoid bumps and increase precision. Note. If any of your engineering coworkers tell you they've built their own super soaker that leverages water jet technology, run. Seriously, run. You can try direct modeling yourself with a free for lifetime version of the same software used by engineers and designers at Imco. Creo's direct modeling tools from PTC. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling express. That's it for the product design show this week. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.